immersive has become the hottest topic in professional audio. But to date, it's only been an option for huge megachurches. Those days are gone thanks to EAW. Welcome to Church Production, I'm Sean Miller. We sat down with Faith Community Church in Tucson, Arizona to get their take on how EAW's AC6 loudspeaker system with adaptive technology, when paired with an appropriate DSP processor such as Flux, can create an immersive audio experience for churches. So my name is Jacob Pierce, and I'm the ministry director at Faith Community Church here in Tucson, Arizona. Worship here at Faith Community Church is, while it is contemporary, we still sing hymns, we still do a lot of the traditional stuff, but I definitely would consider us a more contemporary uh, type service. The, the room here um, in our main sanctuary is, it's really wide, it's not very deep, trying to, to find a system that really does fit a room that's very shallow, but also wide. Uh, that's That was one of the challenges that we had. Faith Community has been using EAW's AC6 in combination with their auto subwoofers. Each AC6 is made up of 36 individual amplified and processed transducers. This enables EAW's adaptive technology to provide precise and continuous control of loudspeaker coverage throughout the response range from 65 hertz all the way up to 20 kilohertz. But what that adaptive technology really does is allow for vertical coverage to be customized for what's best in the room. Faith Community was lined up to install install EAW's adaptive ANA LCR system. But days before the final decision was made, their integrator, Michael Garrison, president of Michael Garrison Associates, approached Faith Community about doing a demo of an EAW immersive system. Within a few short days, EAW, Michael Garrison, Hugo Laren from Flux, and Faith Community had all teamed up. Let's hear from Jake on how all four of these companies went above and beyond to demonstrate the power of not just an immersive system, but an adaptive immersive system. We immediately agreed to the demo. We thought this this is super cool. Let's let's do it um, with no intention of buying the immersive system. I, that that wasn't even necessarily on our radar. It was it was a cool thought, but um, we thought there's no way this is going to be what we want. That it's going to be too hard to manage. There's too much technology. Um, we're we're very happy with just the left center right. EAW shipped out 19 AC6s and then 20 something Anas and, and autos. Set up this system and then they started demoing things on the system and it was very clear to us early on that there was something different about the immersive system. The adaptive part of this is unlike anything else. They're, they're, the ability to put a speaker in one location and then only have to have one box to be, especially with the AC6, to be able to really steer the sound exactly where you want it to go, um, to cover the room uniformly, it, it's shocking. The AC6 packs quite a punch for its size. High trim heights made sure that these speakers weren't interfering with visual elements like video screens or sight lines. EAW's adaptive technology allows the sound to be aimed only where it needed to be, and the even sound coverage provided by AC6 is crucial to supporting an immersive environment. The powerful combination of EAW's resolution software and the Flux Spat Revolution mixing tool helped bring Faith Community's immersive environment to life. I think that that's one of the most versatile things about the the EAW Adaptive AC6. You only need one, really, to be able to get a lot of that steering. And it's not practical in most places to hang three or four Annas or three or four Anyas in 19 different locations. So to have a box that's lightweight, not this massive, huge, wide um, array, but just a real sleek column speaker, that was that was intriguing to us. It's really cool to hear Celine Dion, you know, coming at you from 19 different, you know, sources, right? And it's really cool to hear Elton John's electric guitar kind of orbiting the room. Like, yeah, all of that's cool, but, but how does that help us, right? What does that do for us? What we saw was the potential of this, of what if we could pipe our vocals through those surrounds, adding some reverb and a little bit of delay to make it feel like the room is 10 times bigger than it is. Like there's 10 times more people than there actually are in the room to create this effect of there's support. I'm not the only one in here worshiping the Lord, but there's 10,000 people around me getting to worship with me. And I think that, that that was what we believed in is that it could help people engage more and more and more um, because they don't feel like they're out on an island all by themselves when they're out there worshiping. I really love that they were able to do so much in a room that size. 
You kind of expect this from a mega church or maybe a church that's held in an arena, but it's not so often you see such an incredible audio experience from a church that only seats 500. But lastly, we had to ask Jacob, as somebody that came into this a little hesitant, what are your thoughts once the new system was up and running? From, from my experience with this system, this EAW AC6 immersive system, my, my experience is that this is the solution for churches, no matter the size of your church. We, we are not a mega church. We are, do not have a you know 10,000 seat sanctuary. You know, we are a 500 seat auditor sanctuary, right? When churches are looking at sound systems, there's a lot of things to consider, right? From what can the ceiling hold to how do we get cabling to certain places to what do we want the SPL to be? And this system between the, the EAW AC6 um, and the Flux Immersive program, it works and it's easy to use. And this is the solution for churches. So big thank you to EAW and the whole team over at Faith Community Church for giving us your insights on EAW's AC6 loudspeaker system with adaptive technology. Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to Church Productions YouTube channel, as well as check out our new articles and insights on everything church production. I'm Sean Miller and I'll see you on the next one.